Good everybody, Rebecca Hollis here. All right, uh, it's a Saturday and I'm cruising. Got a whole bunch of, a uh, bit of a mellow day today. Uh, X Games is stuffing up. Now, it's been interesting in the last 20 years of X Games existence, you've always had to either, you know, watch it through Sky or watch it um, in the, if you're in the States for the dedicated broadcaster or whatever. But this year, they have um, opened it out to everyone online streaming live uh, in real time of what you'd be seeing on TV through YouTube, which is amazing, and, and the, the, the content that's coming out is great. The really interesting part I found out it is not only mentally have they um, shifted to a social, they're basically taking the TV linear approach and dropping it into the distribution outlet of uh, YouTube, which is great. The problem is, in between every single ad break, which they're still creating their content for in the States, Globally, it's sitting there on an empty screen with everyone still watching just a, a holding shot coming back and forth now that opportunity right there is is so much greater than what they're probably potentially even making within um, the, like the reason they're doing that is because they have their TV advertising deals that are happening in America for those gaps every time they sell their time slot what I'm saying is if you've got a hundred million people in America which you're doing this entire thing for that's great and then as a as a afterthought you're like cool let's take that same plug chuck it in, flip in, in into YouTube and so it goes out to the world I don't think they understand that the world is billions of people that could potentially be watching it yet for those times where the whole thing is driven around TV time they're not even activating or using that time so you've got millions of people in real time right now watching the X Games on YouTube but then as soon as it hits an ad break it's sitting there blank for two minutes doing absolutely nothing the biggest opportunity for YouTube and any of these guys or it's actually more towards the X Games to be fair is actually to understand that the oh and it'll be nice that we can just chuck that out to the world is no that's still eyeballs that are relevant, you can monetize that. So I think they're leaving a lot, a lot of money on the table by just taking the linear approach of TV, plug it into YouTube. But their, their whole monetization model is about how to try and capitalize the two minute gaps in between for the, the you know, a couple hundred million people in America, opposed to as soon as it's going global now, which it is on YouTube, it's going to billions. So they potentially, done right, could make more money from the global stream through YouTube advertising for the eyeballs hitting it than they will be in just America because it's on a um, cable network for them to do it. So I think it's it's shitty to see that they're not thinking about phase two of it, but it is good to see that they are realizing that what is happening right now is eyeballs are shifting into Digi and instead of all these illegal, illegal streams which um, everyone's been uh, using for years, um, including myself and everyone because they want to be able to see what they want because you can't actually get the different content for the right channel um, I think that's good so uh, if I was X Games right now I'd be partnering with YouTube directly to figure out how to t how to monetize uh, social content in real time and it's actually something where I, I talked about in the um, idea idea log interview talking about um, what we'll see in the next five and it's real-time monetization of social content in real time and so I think this is going to be a, a big opportunity for, to be able to do it and I, I hope that they um, smart up quick so hopefully by this time next year we won't be having the same conversation cheers guys